Democrats and 2016. Senator Warren has repeatedly said she's not running, but it hasn't stopped people from talking about it. Of course, there's lots of buzz about Hillary Clinton, but no official word yet. And then there's Vice President Joe Biden, who says he'll make a decision by the summer. But check out his travel schedule. In the past week alone, he's been visiting the battleground or primary states of Iowa, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Tara, <laughs> Biden 2016, is it possible? <laughs> If I say that Biden wants to run, that's like saying the sun came up this morning. Does Biden want to run? Is water wet? He absolutely wants to run. Now, the, the question is, will he run? And I think the biggest uh, problem for Joe Biden, because I think he would run in a heartbeat, the biggest issue for him is right now just how formidable Hillary Clinton is looking in the polls at this particular point in time. But what I think we see him doing is he's clearly testing the waters. He's going into these states to try to see what type of reception he will get from the people in those states, from party leaders in those states, from grassroots activists in those states. So this is clearly strategic, and he is, um, and he is definitely uh, advancing a strategy on this front. Abby, this could yeah. be a lot of fun, though. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think he's running. I think he's, he, it's, the writing's on the wall that he's not actually going to go through with it. He's not going to run against Hillary Clinton. I mean, let's be honest about that. I think he loves the attention. And this is sort of the fun time for people like Joe Biden, where they can sort of have the media speculate about them. They can be in the headlines. They can be talked about. But they don't actually have to put forward a campaign or announce they're running. That's when it really gets difficult. Look, I would love for Joe Biden to run. I would love for Elizabeth Warren to run. I think it makes for a really fun debate. All you have right now is Hillary Clinton. You're going to have the Republicans with, like, 50 candidates. So, you know, I think it might be um, interesting to have someone beyond Hillary run. It would make for a better debate. Um, and she would be better equipped to handle a general if she has to go up against yeah. someone in the primaries, I think. John, quickly, I'm going to break, but you yeah, want to no, get Yeah, no, I agree. This? I think Hillary Clinton is going to have to so show some serious weakness to leave an opening for Joe Biden. And look at, he's really not laying any of the groundwork. He hasn't established any type of pack. He hasn't really hired any key staffers that would be needed in the primary season. So I don't really think he's going to run. Abby, John, and Tara, thank you for joining the conversation tonight. Have a great weekend, all of you. Thanks, Rev. Thank you. Thanks, Rev.